everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys a bunch of ways that you can fade between clips in DaVinci Resolve. So let's start off with Cut Tab Editing, which is the second page over from the left in DaVinci Resolve, and we'll do both fading between clips and fading into a video and out of a video for your intro and conclusion. So the first thing you need to know about adding a transition like a fade between clips in DaVinci Resolve is that when you bring your clip onto the timeline that you have to have some buffer of the source material compared to the actual portion of your clip that you put onto the timeline. So if you drop an entire source clip onto your timeline and you click on one of the edges, you'll see that the line shows red, indicating that at this side of the clip that you're already looking at the end of the source video file. If you try to add a transition between two clips on the edit tab, it'll usually give you a pop-up warning and then automatically trim it for you. But on the cut page, you actually need to do it manually. So what you need to do is to trim both sides of the clip a little bit to add that buffer in. So to make the space so that you can fade between two clips, you're gonna need to left click on the right side of the left side clip and pull this inwards. And you should get a green line indicating that you're no longer at the end of the source file. Uh, and it'll be usable for transitions. And then you need to do the same thing with the left side of the right clip. So we're gonna pull this to the right and basically add a frame buffer of the source material. So now what we can do is left click on the line right between these two clips, and then over in the media pool, you can open that in the top left-hand corner if it's not already open, but it should be by default. Go to the bottom right-hand section here and look for dissolve. So a dissolve transition is just a standard fade between two clips or between black and a clip or a clip and to black. So if we hit play now, we're going to have that fade transition between two clips. Now when you're fading from black to the first clip in the project, you don't actually need to do that trimming thing that we did for the between clips. We can just left click on the left edge here and then click on the dissolve icon, which will basically make a fade from black into our clip. So it'll look like this, and that's all you really need to do there. So likewise, we can use this middle timeline, go all the way to the end of our video, and add in a dissolve there as well. So left click on the rightmost edge, and then hit the dissolve icon, and now you have a fade out for your video just like that. So let's show fading over on the edit page. So using the same clips, you can see that uh, we still have that buffer, for these two clips, if you left click, it'll show you basically how many frames, indicated by that white box that extends out to the right, that there is a buffer for transitions to use. But I'm gonna remove that buffer so that you can see the pop-up that will occur when we try to add a transition between these two clips. Now there's a couple way to add a cross dissolve between the clips, that's basically what we were using before. One is to right click on the border between two clips and to add a cross dissolve of the number of frames you want. So let's say that your timeline had 24 frames per second, then that would mean a 24 frame cross dissolve is a one second transition. So you could just half that to 12 frames to make it go twice as fast. But let's go ahead and do the 24 frame cross dissolve. And what you'll see is that it basically requires you to trim the clips in order to get that fade transition. So if you hit the trim clips button, it'll automatically do what I was doing on the cut tab, where you trim the edges a little bit and have that source material buffer, and it just goes ahead and does it for you. Aside from that, you basically end up with the same result, a cross dissolve from one clip to the other. And there's another place that you can also find cross dissolves as well as many other transitions, and that is the effects library. So if we click effects library up here, um, then we can go to video transition and you will find cross dissolve over here. So if you wanna add in a cross dissolve, you can just drag this onto the clip there, and then you'll get your transition from black to the clip. Now, you might wanna customize the settings on these transitions. So you can left click on any transition that you've made and there is a window called the inspector in the top right where you can adjust settings such as the number of frames and the duration of the transition. You can also change the ease curve on your transition. So if you look at these transitions in the timeline, you'll see that there is basically a linear slope uh, where in the bottom left, it's all gray. And then in the top right, it, there's no light gray at all. Um, so if we change the ease curve to like N, you'll see that rather than a linear line, it's now something of an exponential curve. And in this case, having it set to N means it starts slow and ends fast, 
So you might actually prefer that kind of setting for your transition, such as fades. So let's go ahead and play that, and you'll see that the fade from black starts a little slower, but it gets fast towards the end. So there's one more way to fade from black or to black very easily, and that is to hover over a clip in your timeline and to grab these little white notches at the top left and top right of your clip. So with these notches, you can left click and hold and then drag it outwards in order to make a default fade transition. So this basically will go from 0% opacity or invisible to fully visible wherever you let the white notch let go. So more or less, this will give you the same effect, but arguably even quicker, because all you need to do is to bring out these notches. Um, now, you'll note that there's also one on the right side. Even when you already have a transition added between these two clips, you can still technically drag these notches out. So you might want to be a little bit careful about that, because if you have the notch out and you add a transition, then they will layer on top of each other, and you might get some weird results, which might not really be what you're looking for. So I probably would recommend in most cases you use one or the other for a transition, but not both. Um, but if you go to the end and you want it to be a fade out, this can just be a really easy way to fade out your video. So once again, I'll hit play here and you get a fade to black in about half a second of effort. One last thing about fades, the effects library more or less does exist also on the cut tab. So if you want to look at cross dissolve and other transitions, then rather than going to the effects library at the top left hand corner, you just open up transitions, which has all of the transitions in the effects library, but you're only looking at the transitions rather than all of the effects. As you can see, titles and effects also exist up there, but they're separated into their own categories rather than all be combined into the effects library. And here you can bring the cross dissolve onto your clips, uh, just like you could on the edit tab as well. So dragging that on gives you a cross dissolve. Basically the exact same thing as being in the meteor pool and then using the dissolve button to add in a cross dissolve. So as far as I remember, that is pretty much all the ways you can add in simple dissolves inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. I hope this video wasn't too much for such a simple topic, but if you guys learned something, then I'm happy. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.